You may ask yourself, am I good in bed? The answer is probably no. Actually, in your case the answer is, definitely and unequivocally no. Possibly, hell no, which is why you should keep watching. To determine your sexual performance, you need to break down, good in bed, into, its three components, and what those individual parts mean. Good can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Let's say someone was trapped under earthquake rubble for weeks. Give them a half-eaten burrito you found under your car seat, and, they would undoubtedly say it was good. It's all in the perception. If your sexual technique is the moral equivalent of a half-eaten, burrito found under a car seat, you have to work on how you are perceived. There's probably an easier way to do this than bury your partner under a collapsed building for three weeks, but nothing comes to mind. Make sure to feed his, or her cat, while they're gone. Next there's bed. Perhaps you're good in places other than a bed, your prowess can only be appreciated outside the stifling confines of, the sleeping chamber. Probably not. I'm just being polite. You're getting older. The last time you had sex in the kitchen you had to have a melon ball are surgically removed from your lower intestinal tract. As the doctor removed it, all you could think was, I have a melon baller. Finally we have the word in. Let's be honest, if you're somehow expecting a simple preposition to validate your miserable sexual performance, then you are worse off than any of us ever imagined. To be perfectly honest, I think you're doing it all wrong. There's probably a book, you can read, but it's probably too late. Any change in your routine would just frighten your partner. In your case the sensible solution, is to just give up. Well, I hope this has helped. Good night and good luck.